today marks my last week here in Denmark and as sad as I am, I'm very grateful for the time that I've had here um, and I thought it would be kind of cool to document my last week and what it's like living here in Fredericksburg technically um, and kind of show you what it's like, you know, going to CBS to study and all my friends and riding the metro and all that fun stuff. Um, so I thought I would take you along. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I just got back from campus um, and I did a little bit of studying, a little bit of writing my paper there. Um, and now I'm home back in my apartment for a little bit for dinner. Um, and then we have one of our activities for our social program, which is something that like CBS does for all like the international students to um, kind of get to know each other. We have one of our last activities. It's like a board game night which is kind of cute and kind of fun. Um, and then everyone is going out for a little bit after. Um, I'm gonna go just to kind of show y'all around and everything, um, but then I'm gonna come back early because Monica and I are going to Legoland tomorrow. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, so yeah. Hello. Hi everybody, what well, the heck is up? Video. Um, Welcome well, to my vlog. There it is, <laughs> that's yeah. it. What a good, what a great dinner we have today. <laughs> I am currently walking back to my building. Um, I lost my voice, but that's okay. Um, I'm about to um, call it right because I have to be up super early tomorrow for Legoland. Good morning. It is 6.26 now. Um, I am equally as surprised that I'm awake. I went to bed at 2 and now I'm up. I'm ready to go um, to Legoland. I'm walking now to meet Monica at the bus stop so we can take it over to the train station. Yeah. <laughs> what we designed to do. We, we kind of picked something that was like really, really a lot, so let's see if we live. Thoughts, Monica? That was great. That was insane. That was great. We're gonna do it again. That was the best ever. <laughs> Woo! We have made it to America. Welcome, oh shoot, welcome to Yeehaw Country. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Uh, 
I am finally back home. It is almost midnight. I got home about 30 minutes ago and quickly ate a 7-Eleven pizza for dinner. Getting back was literally such a fiasco. We had to miss our first bus because we couldn't pay with card, even though every other bus we'd paid with card before. And then once we like got to the train station and got on the train, our train had technical difficulties, so we had to combine with another train. That train didn't have enough space, so we had to wait to add cars to the train. So long story short, we finally got back to Copenhagen, but we got back here like an hour and a half later than we were supposed to. So that's something to be aware of when you're traveling. Be super cautious of all of the um, public transportation and the different schedules and all of that kind of stuff and just be aware of that. But other than that whole ordeal, Legoland was free and awesome. I had an awesome time. Um, and tomorrow I have a pretty chill day. Um, we're getting some stuff, so I'm just gonna call it a night. It's a bit of a late start today and I do not have a voice, but I've been studying all morning and it is now six o'clock um, and I'm about to head out to dinner and then head over to um, Ashley and Monica's building to have like a goodbye party for some of the people who live there. Um, but this is probably the last talking clip you'll get for today because this is not a <laughs> It is Monday and yesterday was kind of like a slower day. We kind of just did work pretty much the whole day and slept in. Um, today I'm on my way to Sutter City to do some more work at a coffee shop and then just do some exploring around the city when we're done. Um, also good news, my voice is coming back. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're up to today. very productive day studying um, in city center and then we went to go see Lion King. I went with uh, Maria and Gabby and it was really great um, but look what arrived in my room today. It's the baggage for all my bedding which means I have to move out soon which I don't want to do. What is this? Photogenic part of Copenhagen. The thing everybody takes pictures of. Here we are. <laughs> Go ahead, Declan. <laughs> they won't fall. Please be careful, though. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, he did it. Success! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> anybody wanted to know, 7 Eleven in Denmark has really good food. So I got this pizza for lunch. Look at all this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I am back in my room for the night and it is time to start packing, which is really sad, um, but Tomorrow I have my exam and the exam hall is right by the beach. So we're going to the beach right after and then I have to come back here, um, do like the last bit of like cleaning and packing. And then we have like our goodbye party celebration thing. Um, 
uh, Ashley and Monica's house. So I don't really have too much time tomorrow to actually do stuff. So like tonight is my night to do everything. I'll show you after, but it's getting real. It's less than 48 hours now until I go home. So yeah. Okay, so update. Um, as you can see, everything's off the wall. That's totally clear. Um, the drawers are all empty. Everything's in the suitcase. This, um, I'm just leaving to last because it's just gonna go in one of my smaller bags. The closet is pretty much empty except for like the things that I'm gonna be wearing in the next day to. Then I have my map off the wall of everything. The bulletin boards are all clear. Um, and then I clean up my fridge as well so there's nothing else in there. Um, it's like really empty in here now. It's kind of sad. I don't really like being in empty like rooms and spaces like this, but um, it was a very successful packing session. Um, and now it is 11.54 p.m. I have my exam tomorrow, so I'm going to review um, my study guide one last time and go over my examples a little bit before bed. Um, and then I'll head over to my exam in the morning, and then that's officially my last thing I do as a CBS student. Okay, <clears throat> I am up and headed to my exam, um, and it's raining which um, is representative of the fact that today's my last day in Copenhagen. Exam girlies, we done. We're done with exams. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thrift store I've ever been in. Look, this has an inside print in my whole life. Oh, oh. I'm crying. Oh. Yes. So this is my last walk um, down from campus. I just said goodbye to Aditi and Maria, so that was kind of sad. Um, I'm headed back to my building to get ready for a goodbye dinner tonight. I just got back from dinner and saying goodbye to everybody and it was like really sad um i don't like everything with these people i meet here and it's so crazy that like we met like six weeks ago and we're so close and then we have to like say goodbye um so yeah that was really sad um we all have plans like see each other again at some point but yeah it's 11 20 now and i'm spending the rest of the night, um, doing my last bit of packing, cleaning, and everything, so I'm ready to go tomorrow. Um, my flight's at 10.40, so I'm leaving here, um, at, like, 7.30-ish to get to the airport just after 8, and then, yeah, that'll give us enough time to do everything, but stay tuned for my empty room when I have everything packed up, and yeah. Okay, so everything... Is pretty much packed up. Obviously, there's the things that I need tomorrow morning to like get ready and everything over here, and then that's going straight into my book bag. Um, this is just waiting for my shoes to dry off from today. That's fully packed. Everything's cleared out of here. All the walls are bare and empty. Um, everything's off of there. Um, Ashley dropped off her suitcase here because it's going to be pouring again tomorrow, um, and I'm closer to the metro stop than she is, so she has her stuff here. Um, and then I have the last bit of trash and everything, and I am going to do one quick sweep before I leave. And obviously, all my bedding is going in there. Um, and then I'll officially be moved out tomorrow morning. And that will be it. All right. She's all packed up. Ready to go. Ready to go. So we made it through security and everything with a little bit of ordeal in the process. Slightly. Um, but we're here and we're heading to our terminal to get on the plane. I am finally back home to Raleigh, however, not to Charlotte. Getting back was literally such an ordeal that I'll have to go into in further detail, but 
about 16, 17 hours of traveling later, I am home in North Carolina. I'm going to get my luggage and also all the ends well. So I'm back in the US. Clearly I'm in my car, which I've missed so dearly. Um, but I've been back for about a week now. Um, and coming back was weird and it was sad, but I was also glad to get back at the same time. Um, I didn't mention anything about my airport ordeal, uh, but basically we got delayed in the air. So we had this like circled around for an hour um, and then we were low on fuel, so we had to stop in Raleigh. We were sitting there for about two hours without even refueling. And then they finally decided that they had to let us off because we were sitting on the plane for so long, uh, but that we had to get back on. Like we couldn't just get off in Raleigh. Me being from Apex, which is like 20 minutes from Raleigh, I was like, I will be getting off. Um, because we are already like landing like two and a half hours later than we were supposed to. So I asked enough people and I finally got my bags so I was able to get off in Raleigh and get home. So that was just kind of a excellent ending to a trip that had a lot of situations dealing with travel, but um, I'm home and I'm back and yeah, my study writing experience is over. I'm back in Greensboro, so like I'm back at school. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of come in here before like summarizing the whole thing and talk about that and talk about coming back but yeah I wish somebody would have told me babe some of these will be the good old days all the love you won't forget and all these reckless nights you won't regret someday soon your whole life's gonna change I was thinking about the band, I was thinking about the fans We were underground, loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota, and the snow outside of First Ave I just wanted my name in the star, now look at where we at Still growing up, still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become Couldn't wait to get older, couldn't wait to be some and I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would have told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that show Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought and felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me Still young. Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past while missing out on now We've come so far, I guess I'm proud At night, worry about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things you don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes, oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. You don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes, oh, oh, oh. till it's
Let's go.